How do you view the distance team? You guys are crazy. I view them like heroes. I always wanted to be like them. That's why I started running in the first place, not just because my dad's a coach, but just to be like you guys. How do you view the distance team? What's that? Like the distance team. Like, what do you think of them? From where? What? <laughs> the What's the distance team? <laughs> Um, well, we've had, it's, it, it's, every team is its own thing. We've had some teams where we've had 35 guys and, and all of them are hardcore, dedicated, running on their own, on extra practice kind of guys. Then it's cycles to some guys that want to do the bare minimum. Then you get a, a team like we've had in the last four years where they're, they're like a family, they're dedicated, and they're, they pick each other up, and they're all working for a common goal, whether the first guy, the 10th guy, the 12th guy, they all come with that same sense of purpose. And uh, when you give a team like that, it's just, it's just a great thing, and it's a very rewarding thing. So in the last four years, it's been just one of the best all-time experiences we've ever had. So I went out for track in the spring, and a lot of my friends were on the team. I had a lot of fun that year, and they convinced me to do cross country. Um, and that really was the start of my running career, and after that it kind of just snowballed. I got better, I enjoyed it so much that I just decided to keep going. Well, there's, I've always said like over the years, like movies make it look like, uh, they show a montage, it looks like you go out there, run a couple days in slow motion, and all of a sudden you're out winning state championships. How do you think you'll feel after the run? I mean, not that bad. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't think we're, we're pretty in good shape, so I think I'll feel all right afterwards, but you know, I'm still not looking forward to it. Perfect. ECT How you is feeling? exactly 11, and I feel like I want to die. The amount of time that they have to put in behind the scenes and in practice every day consistently with no real time off, they have to put a lot, a lot of work in doing things that people just think is like their warm up for their sport or their cool down. They don't realize that the amount of training that you do and the amount of hours you're out there running just to get to a, a 15, 16 minute race. It's a lot of time uh, that behind the scenes, race days is the shortest, easiest thing they do. We start off by building a big base uh, where you're building your mileage up and get your fitness up. And once you have that base fitness, then you start adding different kinds of workouts like hill runs, uh, tempo runs, where you're going quicker than that regular pace. And then we add in speed workout where you're going race pace or faster uh, many, many times over, way more than you would do in a race. Like you might end up doing like seven miles worth of speed for a three mile race, you know. And then as the races come, you're, you're, you're adjusting for tweaking for your kick. So it changes, then you start it all over again in the winter and do it again in the spring. <laughs> How do you feel about this run? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> you guys might be at the OC Bridge. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. Um, they're not too different other than in cross country you have to be ready to run up hills on grass, different kinds of terrain, sand, and the mileage is a little bit higher. When you get the track, some of the races are much shorter, like if you're running an 800, it's much different than if you're running a two mile. You have to do a lot more uh, sprint type work and there's a lot more actual work on the actual track. Then you get a, a team like we've had the last four years where they're, they're like a family, they're dedicated, they're, they pick each other up and they're all working for a common goal. With, No. Uh, are, you, are you okay? No. Do you feel okay? No.
Is this what the run did to you? Yeah.